Hey, what's up guys? Have you ever thought about trying to figure out what a great business opportunity might be? Well, I was walking around the NFBA Expo here in Louisville and I came across this booth behind me and this is Formrite. They put together some really cool trailers specifically so that you can have a mobile on-site metal cutting business. Let's go ahead and check out this trailer though because I think it's pretty sweet. In my opinion, this is kind of like a Cadillac uh, trailer setup here. We've got a new tech um, roll former. This is right here. This is going to do 12 different roofing panels. It has 12 different options for roofing panels. And you can also do four different siding, you know, options, not like your ag panels, more of like a flat panel or a new board and batten style um, is what they're going to be able to produce out of this. But this sits at the back of the trailer, obviously. And this is where the material is going to come out. They've got the setup all set up. You've got your stands right here. You're going to be able to, as you need them, pull them out. You've got your tables that your material is going to slide out on. And I really wish we could like roll form some metal right here, but we're not going to be able to do that. And I like this. This setup is pretty cool because it can do so many different sizes and types of roofing. You've got all your different hemming tools. So before you even roll out your piece, you can detail the bottom end where we, you know, if you've seen our channel where we hem the bottom of a standing seam panel, you're doing it right here. That sheet's gonna roll out to whatever length you need. Whatever that roofer up on the roof has called out, he's gonna dial that in right on site, gonna give you the perfect length. Let's walk around to the other side. This is pretty cool. Right here, this door, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna open it up. I think it's uh, locked on the inside. I said I'm not gonna open it up, but I was gonna try. Right here, this has a three coil option. So let's say, you know, you've got five different stops for the day and a bunch of different roofers want you to roll out their steel. You can load this up with three different coils, potentially three different colors and go out and do whatever you need to do. And the forklift is gonna be able to drop that right in here. You'll see, a, you'll see it kind of inside. But let's come on inside the, build, uh, the trailer. So now you can kind of see the back end of this roll former and these are the coil holders. So these go right around the inside of the coil and then they lock in place and you're just going to feed the back of the roll former. I think it would be a pretty cool video, maybe even to visit my roll former metal sales manufacturing someday. I've always wanted to do that video to show how we go from flat stock metal to the steel that you guys see on all of our projects. Um, this machine also has got a pretty cool setup where not only are you going to be coming out on site and you're going to be roll forming some metal roofing, but you got to bring all the custom trim. So, you know, morning you show up at the shop, you get all your trims bent and then they can get stacked right in here. So you can, you know, load this up as high as you need to and it's going to be protected and come out to the site. Uh, this is another cool thing that this company form, right? I think they developed, I don't know if this is a patented thing, but this is a ladder specifically to go over your ridge and work a lot safer on the roof because when you get into some steep pitch applications, it can be a little tricky to maneuver on the roof. And this is a pretty cool ladder system, uh, but also they've got all the ability to store ladders, your gear, uh, whatever you might need for the job. Now this right here behind me is another option that they have, this slatted wall system. I don't know if they make it or just sell it, but it's pretty sweet. You got all your bins for your different fasteners. You've got maybe rivets, you've got butyl tape, sealants, whatever. You got it right here. It's all going out to the roofer that you're trying to service. Or maybe you just are a roofer yourself and this comes out whenever you start a new job to produce all your product. Now this is a fifth wheel trailer. Like I said, this is like the Cadillac. So you've got all this additional storage up front. Maybe you're going to have your your lightweight uh, fillers or vented ridge caps, whatever that is. Or maybe maybe that's where like a guy like Greg is gonna get up there and it's gonna be his nap place. So this is a really cool trailer as it sits. This one is already sold. It, a guy came and bought it yesterday, I was told. It's about $165,000. This is all aluminum. So if you were to go with a steel trailer, he said you could save about 30K just by going to see uh, steel. But this is like a, a, in my opinion, one of those things that if I had more time, I would want to invest in because metal roofing is becoming so much more popular and a guy can, or girl, 
can roll into somebody's job site, produce quality panels to the exact size, exact spec that the roofer needs, and the roofer doesn't have to do all the pre-planning and measuring. So this is a really cool concept. You know, um, let's go ahead, and I actually want to show you also here at the uh, the NFBA a booth that has just an amazing machine that's going to produce all the custom trims that you need to take to the job. All right, now we just seen the Cadillac of roll form trailers that are gonna be portable on the job site. We really can't do this portable, right? I mean, I'm with, I'm with yeah. Nelson here. Nelson is with Vario Bend. They're in Mattoon, Illinois, and he's gonna do a little demo, a, a pretty complicated trim, and it's gonna be like a one-man job without even really having to do much. Now, this machine is expensive. It's something that you're invested, you're gonna be doing it for your business, but it's going to be a labor saver for sure. You can get it in a 14 foot length, a 21 foot length, or even a 28 foot length, which is gonna allow potentially multiple guys to be doing the same trim all at the same time. Uh, Nelson, how heavy is this? 21,000 pounds. 21,000 pounds, okay, so you gotta have a good setup, and what kind of power does it require? 483 phase. 483 50 phase. Amps. Okay, so that's a pretty big deal, but this thing is amazing, dude. Um, can you do a quick demo for us? Sure. Okay. So we're gonna be making a, a W Valley, and the throat depth on this is 49 inches, so you can put, put a full 48 inch coil in here, up to 16 gauge, do you tell me? 16 gauge metal. Check this out, man, this is amazing. Automatic slitter bar. The thing that blew me away about this machine specifically is that's a typical action that you see on a, a brake, but you're gonna see probably pretty soon that the, it right here, it, it breaks both ways. And I'm, maybe I'm a sucker for like this sort of thing, but to me, this is amazing and uh, super fascinating. So we're gonna let you just watch this happen. So you'll notice the fingers are automatically moving. He doesn't need to set anything. You know, I think about all the times I've bent metal on my own personal brake, and every time you have to pull it out, measure it, flip it over, you know, this is accurate. What is the accuracy on this? I mean, it's a machine stop, so it's gonna be repetitious precision every time, right? It has a ball screw for the back gauge that's dead on every time. Every time. All the way down the brake, too, once this thing's set up. Now, do you guys offer all the setup services? Yes, that's so, me. That's yep, you? That's okay, me. so yeah, if you buy one of these, Nelson's gonna show up and he's gonna make sure that this thing is perfect. And look at that. That thing has got all these bends. He just had to flip it around once. But there's a lot of, a lot of bends that you don't even touch. It just, it's yeah. gonna spit it out and the it's- The reason to turn around was because of the hems on both sides. You have to turn it for that. Oh, so if you weren't hemming this right here, it would've went through and did it all. That's pretty sweet, man. I mean, that is a time saver. Obviously, it's an investment into your business, but with a combination of a trailer setup like that that lets you get your roll form metal out to the site and a machine like this, maybe you want to get into a, uh, a roll forming and metal trim bending. Is, you guys see this a lot. Is this getting bigger? Oh, yeah. More people are doing it. Mom and pop shops. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yep. Hey, Nelson, thanks, man, for giving us a little quick demo here at uh, Burial Bendit, and they're in Mattoon, Illinois. Thank you. Actually, guys, I thought we were done here, but Nelson wanted me to take a look at this machine that Robert is, uh, you the engineer on? Yeah, I designed it, partially. Okay, you can take full credit. Nobody's gonna know the difference, Robert. It's all good. Uh, it's pretty miraculous, but I don't know anything about it other than I've seen it in operation. So tell us a little bit about this, Robert. What we have here is we do have an automatic slitting machine. Automatic slitting machine means we do a knife change. Uh, automatically, we also adjust all the parameters according to the material database. On top of that, we have a fully automatic storage system. This one is just a show setup. We can uh, handle up to five European tons, which means 11,000 pounds, okay. uh, in two different ways. Maybe you turn over to here. Look at this. We have a double wide. We have a triple wide. You can do your storage as long as you want to have. And the fancy stuff is everything runs automatically. Means automatic coil change, automatic feeding, automatic rewinding and So nobody has to come back here and nobody, take the coil? Nobody, 
All right. I, I, he hasn't shown this in action yet. You've talked about it. I've seen it from a distance. I want to see this. Can you do that? Yes, of course. So yes, of course. The big point of this is going to be obviously in a plant or in a facility where maybe you're bending a bunch of trims for a bunch of different jobs. You've got different colors. You've got different sizes of metal that you need to make those bends because you don't want to just waste it. Um, this is going to do it all. And he told me that it will also produce a printout on the metal. So the guys over at the bender, they know what pieces are for what. Yes, there will be a QR code on it, on the sticker. You run over to the folder, there is a scanner, you scan it and your drawing pops up automatically. All right, so Robert's gonna show us how this thing now will rewind back up this coil. Right. So now it's gonna go put this back in its, uh, in its in spot. In its slot, we have, on top of that, we have, we call it a smart storage system because each of these mandrels has its own ID. Look at this, it's kind of a barcode. All these manuals have a different barcode. Oh, that's this and here. That is a barcode, and when we run by this lifter, we know the position, we detect the diameter, so we measure the diameter, uh, and we know which mandrel it is. That means out of this, or with this information, we calculate the best setting for the storage system. According to customer's diameter, we come as close as possible together. We don't waste space. Everybody wants to have the space outside the storage system, but not inside. So you're saying as the coil gets smaller, you, you yes, actually move them yes, up? It's automatically. Not like a, it's automatically. not a set position? No, automatically. There is no uh. fixed stand. <laughs> there is a patent on this one, German one. So you could put a full coil back there? I do have for this line, and this line is a show line here for the US because nobody runs these light coils. Over in Europe, we have many customers. They only want to have two tons, which is 4,500 pounds. Um, and some of the customers, they just have seven coils in the same storage system, yeah. but some of them, because of having smaller diameters on their coils, they use the storage system for nine coils. Yeah. Flexible. We have, same as we had before, a different strip width. There is one with eight, there is another one with 11. Okay, so I you're have, doing different measurements now. Yes. All at the same time. Um, there is the last one with nine, seven, uh, sorry, 9.25. So you have four strips. And in principle, in principle, they are looking this one. Means different strip width, like you can read up here, but one length. But what we can do is, I can shorten this automatically. No here. kidding. I can shorten this in this one pattern by five inches. I can split this in half easily. Material is chosen. Press the start button. So now it's going to get that brown color that you chose. Yes. And you're going to actually slit four different pieces at different widths and in different, different lengths. Different lengths, yes. Now, here's a question. Could you have slit this one in half? Yes. It would even do the middle? Yes. That's really impressive. It is. Oh, first one. That was the short one. You yep. will see when we come over here. That is the one what we split in half. And I put the stamps on and everything. Now you get the stickers on the right position. And depends on where the information comes from. If we have it from a PC, from an office PC, or from the folder over there, you get all this information on this one. I just programmed it here uh, as a standard program, so then you do not get and barcode generated. But if it comes from an external device, you have the barcode sketch, everything on it. Wow, very cool, man. Cool, thank you so much. That's, that's kind of amazing. All those different processes right there, one machine and one operator. Yeah. Easy. What we have done is we put many processes together yep. and made an automation out of it. So yeah. uh, because coil storage means you have a heavy forklift, you need to run the forklift, you need to bring it on a T-coiler, which is over there. Yeah. And then you have to feed from this T-coiler in a slitting line, then you have to adjust the knives manually. It's doing it all. And all of this we put together and said, let's do one machine out of it, automatic. Well, Robert, what what is somebody investing to get into something like this? Um, seven figures. It starts. It starts. It starts here with this coil setting. What's not for the Americans because they need bigger ones, about three hundred twenty to three hundred fifty thousand. Oh, I mean that's a lot of money. That's not as bad as I thought. I mean, for the U.S., it will be more expensive because bigger. nobody will use here only two tons. 
Okay. You go for five tons, which is 11,000 pounds. Robert, I'm blown away, man. It's an awesome machine, and I great, greatly thank you for showing us this. It's pretty cool, man.